Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can use video files in the Spark AR Studio to use them in your Instagram filters like this. But before we start this video, keep in mind that we will do a lot of compression of the video files because we have the file size limitation of 4 megabytes for the Instagram filters. So with this in mind, let's start this video. Hey again, so let's use a video file here in the Spark AR Studio. The Spark AR Studio is a little bit tricky when it comes to using video files, so we have to do a workaround to use video files here in the Spark AR Studio because we can't just import an MP4 or an MOV file to the Spark AR Studio. We have to do a workaround and use a GIF or a um, PNG sequence or a JPEG sequence instead to yeah, display a video here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start, make sure you have a video file ready um, which you want to use here in the Spark AR Studio. So, the first thing is that we convert our video file to a GIF. I will use a GIF here in this video, but as I already mentioned, you can also do a PNG sequence or a JPEG sequence. But I think the GIF is the easiest way for this video. So um, now go to the site image.online-convert.com slash convert to GIF. Um, I will also link you the website in the description so just click on the link in the description and you will come to this site so the next thing is just to drag and drop the video you want to convert into the screen area and the upload of the video will start after the upload is done we can yeah, adjust the settings here um, I will set the compression to high then I will change the width to 720 and the height to 1280 but of course you can use any value you want so here anti-aliasing is turned on and everything else i will leave blank and then i will hit start now the site will com um, yeah, convert our video to a gif this process might take a while depending on the file size of your video. So after the conversion is done, you can download your video. When you have downloaded the video, we can go back to the Spark AR Studio and import the video here. So now we have to click on Add Asset, go to Import and here we select Texture Animation. Now we click on Choose File and now we click on the GIF we have just um, yeah, converted and downloaded. So now I click on open and we all know the file size limitation of 4 megabytes here in this Spark AR Studio and at the moment my video has 15.33 megabytes. And now we can yeah, reduce the file size here in the import texture animation and panel. Just um, click here on texture reduction, enable this and now it already has just 5.37 megabytes but we have to scale it down more so the max size is now 1024 and yeah when using a video in the spark ar studio we all always have to keep in mind that we will lose a lot of a lot of quality here when we using a longer video file the shorter the video file the better the quality will be so i will yeah reduce my quality to let's say um, 36 it's too big maybe turn down the max size of to 112 now we can turn up the quality just play around with the settings maybe you have to import it a few times to make sure it has the right size so now we can import this the current size is pretty low at the moment 288 times 512 but yeah it depends on what use case you want to use this video but i will go with this now i will click on import and then the spark ar studio does some magic because it yeah creates three assets, the animation sequence, the texture and also a material. At the moment my video is pretty fast. I will yeah, reduce the frames per second from 24 to 12. And you can do this by just clicking on the animation sequence 
asset and then go to the right hand side and also it automatically creates a plane with the right scale and now we can just play around here um, and yeah change the position and also scale it up or down a little but yeah keep in mind that it already is very very um, compressed and I think the smaller it is the better it is and yeah for this um, to make it the best possible quality you want just play around with the settings here at the converter with all the compression with the change size and also with those settings to yeah have the perfect shift you want and also with the import settings here but yeah this is the easiest way i think to um, use a video as i already said you also can use a png sequence or a jpeg sequence the quality of the picture will maybe be a little bit better but here it's the easiest way because it's just one file and not all the jpegs you have to import so thanks for watching if you like this video if i could help you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye